All right, so I thought I'd do a quick word on hmm, stuff that Apple needs to look at. Maybe with iOS and 4.3. Um, we need customizable home screens, or lock screens, rather, sorry. This is not telling me a whole lot. There's a lot of wasted space on this beautiful 3.5 inch screen. Um, I've got time, date, signal, which AT&T, it's usually two bars, um, and battery level. There's a whole lot of space here for stuff. And if you made the time and date smaller, like one line, the same size as the top bar, tons of space. I should have increased the time on this thing. Um, and so basically what I think Apple needs to do is add something in settings where you can go in and have information displayed there. Like go in and say, yeah, I want you to show me, you know, click active lock screen and then information to display, calendar, um, how many events do you want displayed. Um, and, you know, there should be a pretty easy way to, you know, reorder in settings, you know, which one's on top. Um, do I want to get a, you know, when an email comes in, do I want to see my most recent email, like the sender and the subject line? Um, I think that's, I'm more of a calendar. My biggest thing would be calendar. What's my agenda for today? Um, that way I'm not having to look, you know, I set alarms for super important stuff, but what if it's, you know, medium important, it doesn't have an alarm. Alarms are kind of annoying, especially when they're in the ugly blue pop-ups. Um, so yeah, I think kind of huge, especially for the iPhone. And then look at all that space. You could put like a short biography on this thing. Just of, you know, appointments and email previews and Apple needs to redesign the little blue boxes because the little blue, blue pop-ups I'm okay with pop-up notifications actually I thought coming from a droid I'd hate it I I do miss the droids little slider from the top but uh, pop-ups they're pretty good and battery life definitely pretty good um, Facebook can be a little bit weird like sometimes I'll get Facebook notifications right away and then sometimes it's like they're waiting to send them in groups of threes and then they come. Um, but overall, pretty good. But yeah, a little pop-up bubble. You know, Apple has tried to remain consistent, so consistent that largely as far as aesthetics, if you look from iOS 1 to iOS 4, there really aren't differences. Um, iOS 4, there are, you know, the glassy dock and stuff, but the vast majority, and I mean, it's great, I'm all for consistency, but, I mean, somewhere along the line, someone should have said, hey, you know, this notif this pop-up box that was cool back in 07, maybe we should tweak that, make it a little bit prettier, a little bit more Apple. You know, go to something like a graphite theme like they have in Snow Leopard, I mean... There's room to room for improvement, but anyways, and then developers. Apple needs to start posting old firmware on their website. Um, Cause I'm a developer. I've signed up to be a developer. Um, I'm planning on developing an app over winter break that some of my law school students, my law school classmates my like if they've got iOS devices um, basically I just want to create a little um, app for our law school that's got like you know quick access to important phone numbers um, I want to find a way to integrate our events because our, our school sends out these constant emails an email a day about campus events and 80% of them are redundant. I mean the same email I got on Monday tells me the same thing that you sent me the Friday before or you know from Monday to Tuesday. So I think it'd be pretty cool to have an app that was just kind of like 
here's everything that's going on. But yeah, so old firmware. So I've got an iPad, and this is what I'm planning on using for developing because the my phone is gonna stay stock. <laughs> Nobody messes with the phone. Um, but I went to 4.2 beta 2, and actually the same problem in 4.2 beta 3, and Zinio, which is possibly the greatest app. It's probably the reason, the, the largest reason why I bought the iPad. Um, but basically, all my magazines are on here. The only magazines that um, I get paper are Evo, which is my British car magazine. Um, you know, I've I've had the little Evo subscription sitting in my Amazon cart for a while. A, it's hugely expensive to pay all at once. It's a hundred bucks for a year. They cost ten dollars on the newsstand, so um, they're expensive anyway. But uh, I keep hoping they put out an Evo app, but it's not the full magazine. Just magazine, newspaper people, Zinio. Everything, it just comes here. I get a little email to my throwaway Yahoo account that says new issue of Car and Driver has arrived. And I just open it up, and then it's there, and then I'll just click it. This one had it downloaded, and it starts downloading. And then as it downloads, these little pages start becoming available on the bottom. So, Oops, scroll the wrong way, doing this backwards. As it downloads, as it downloads, um, it'll pop up, and so I can keep reading. No paper is being wasted. Only chemicals that were burnt were the ones made in creating the iPad, which I probably would have bought anyways. Um, but anyways, the Zinio app doesn't work with 4.2 any of the betas. I even tried downloading the new one, beta 3, it doesn't work. Um, and the point of the matter is, is that to get it back to the 3.2 2, um, I have to go download the recovery file for some, you know, third-party website and you're not quite sure if it's stock firmware and I'm super paranoid. So even if I, I downloaded their firmware, I took it to a computer that I hadn't that I had no firmwares on for the iPad, and then restored it, so it downloaded the package from iTunes. But anyways, or a way to force, yeah, no, it should be a it should be a package on Apple's website that you can just download the one that works and then go from there. Um, and then developers beta apps. Maybe like some kind of beta app store so that, you know, if I'm testing a device, I can download a developer's beta app that's not quite ready for prime time. Um, but if I'm a developer and like I want to get into developing, you know, at least an app, if not more, um, but, or at least, you know, give it a try and see how it goes. But one of the main reasons I bought the iPad was for magazines. And so if the Zinio app doesn't work, and they said that they're not sure anything will be available before the final 4.2 software is released, as a developer, I'm, you know, on device testing isn't going to happen because I'm not willing to do that trade-off. So there's definitely some, some work there to be done. And then on also MobileMe. Something I really miss from Gmail because I switched back to MobileMe instead of Gmail. A, I didn't, I didn't like how Google, when you have Google set up through Exchange on iCal, it creates a separate calendar for each. Not like a separate calendar, but like a separate calendar and sub-calendar. So I've got three calendars, maybe four calendars. U.S. holidays, personal school and financial, I think, which is what I put my bills on. Um, and that was annoying. But mobile, one of the great things about Google was I could set it to send me an email every morning. You know, here's your agenda, and you can select which calendars you want. Um, 
it's per it's great. And then if I say it's the weekend, a lot of times on the weekend, I literally have nothing planned because I'm studying all day. It just won't send me an email. There's you no email because you have nothing on your schedule. Um, but mobile me, Apple, look into that. Somehow, you know, like creating an agenda, you're really good with creating great looking uh, software and, you know, like mail templates. So I'm sure this can be done. I'm sure it would take the average engineer like a day and a half of spare time. Um, and then please change mobile me calendar, the beta. Because the beta has some pretty cool stuff, like sharing of calendar and some other cool stuff. But they went, they tried to recreate the iPad calendar app, which for me works on the iPad, A, because I don't use it that often, and I haven't set up my calendar yet. But they try to kind of copy, it's like a, it's like an agenda look. Um, but what they did was they made the, time bubbles and the words like bubbly it looks like something you know an eighth grade girl would love which is fine but um it also has a hard time displaying as much information i'm not sure if the fonts it's more bold or larger um but if i've got a couple of things that are you know back to back it's hard to see the text to even know what it is so i'm having to open an event to get at it so just some little things Apple might want to think about. Help out developers and indeed the rest of the public. But anyway, that's it.